I'm in this amazing location and I was flying about two minutes ago and it started to rain. And that got me thinking exactly what are the rules around flying in the rain. If you want to know, then watch this video. I'm going to go back to the studio where I'm not soaking. Well, I obviously use the term studio loosely, back at home anyway. Have you been caught in the rain? I know I've been caught in the rain a couple of times recently. For me, it's important if I think there could be a shower or there could be rain, then I won't fly very far away so I can land really quickly. It got me thinking uh, exactly what are the rules around flying in the rain. I thought, well, where to go? So first thing is CAA website. So let's have a look at the CAA website and see what that says. Do not fly for weather could affect your flight. Mm, this is what we're looking for. Some things that, to look for, strong winds, uh, rain or other water, snow, cold weather could stop parts of your drone or model aircraft from working. It's in the drone code that you need to be aware of this. But is this a law or is this just the drone code? And I wonder what another font of knowledge would say about this. So let's ask Facebook, shall we? Now, I see a post on here about uh, a couple of weeks ago about flying in the rain. I've got to find it. Give me a minute. Can I fly in the rain? I've seen on Sky Coppers, they were flying in the rain. Some of the answers that are posted on here are, uh, yes, just the once though, they're flying several thousand pounds worth of super IP rated, where your Mini Pro hasn't and will become paperweight within a few days of getting damp. You can fly all drones in the rain, it just depends how long they last. I work with the military, they fly parrot drones in all weathers. Your choice, if the water gets in and damages your drone, it's your loss. Right, here's a good one. What does it say in the manual? Let's look at uh, DJI and see what the Mini 3 and Mini 4's IP rating are. Nothing in there. Interesting fact, if you do an A2 CFC or a GVC qualification, you'll find that the weather actually makes up part of that qualification. So it's learning about it and when and when not to fly. Exactly what law would you be breaking if you flew in the rain? So this is really the law that it comes down to. So if you look at the Air Navigation Order of 2016, Article 241, a person must not recklessly or negligently cause or permit an aircraft to endanger any person or property. So the short answer is, if your drone isn't IP rated, then you shouldn't fly in the rain or mist or anything like that. If you get caught in the rain, uh, I'd suggest you land straight away, which is what happened to me recently. I had to land straight away. Uh, I didn't intend to fly in the rain, but it happened. I, I guess that could be negligent if um, the rain was starting or if it looked imminent. So also I'd say with thunderstorms, uh, thunderstorms not only have very heavy rain, but also they have lots of updrafts as well. So your drone could be swept away in a gust if a thunderstorm is approaching. So it's also worth being careful there. And in fact, it's one of the things we were always taught to not fly in when I did my both my A2 CFC and GVC avoid thunderstorms. So I, I had an instance last year someone actually when I was taking some pictures of some amazing lightning here goes the picture and uh, I thought this would look really good on the drone it just wasn't worth the risk so coming back a little bit uh, when we saw somebody flying a larger drone one of the police flying a larger drone what about that then how can they fly a larger drone is it just that the police can do what they want or is there actually a rule for that? So well, let's have a quick look at one of DJI's larger drones and see if it has an IP rating. Specs. An IP45. IP stands for Ingress Protection. IP45 means you have two numbers here. The first one being for solids and the second one being for liquids. So four means protect against solid objects over one millimeter and Five means water jet, so water projected by a nozzle against enclosure from any direction shall have no harmful effects. And this is test duration is one minute. Plus, so that's pretty good water protection if you look at that. So light rain is not really going to cause a problem. So this is why police can fly some drones uh, and emergency services when we can't fly our little consumer drones. But what about you? How do you approach the rain? Have you flown near a thunderstorm? Let us know in the comments. So I hope that's helped. And if it has helped, then give us a thumbs up. My whole philosophy is really helping people to fly in more places. And if that is your sort of thing, then give us a subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.